Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new series. In this series I'm going to be showing you how to make a tycoon game in Roblox. Uh, we're going to be covering how to add animations to your tycoon, how to save the tycoon including the build, not only the amount of money you have. And this is what you're going to be able to create by the end of this series. Uh, but in the first part of this series we're only going to be covering how to set up the tycoon and the data store system. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up the project. So what we're going to do is uh, publish the game. So just click File, Publish to Roblox, and just call it Tycoon Tutorial or something. Tycoon Tutorial underscore, actually just Tycoon Tutorial. Uh, but I already have something named Tycoon Tutorial, so I'm just going to call this too. And I'm going to enable Team Create. Now I'm going to click Create. And I'm going to wait for this to reload. And uh, once that happens, I'll show you what we need to do. I'm just going to wait for this. And what I'm going to do now is go to Home, Game Settings, go to Security, and enable Studio Access API Services and allow HTTP requests. Now we can just save this. And now we can stop start setting up the uh, tycoons. So what I'm gonna do is have a folder in the workspace, and it's going to be called tycoons. Uh, so I'm just going to rename it tycoons. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have another folder inside it, and it's going to be called tycoon one. And uh, the next thing I need to do is add three folders in this. So the first one is going to be called build. I'll explain this what what these folders will be used for in the next parts of the series and i'm going to duplicate it and put another one and this one is going to be called starter solder build and another one called tycoon template and now what we can do is uh inside of the starter build what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a uh, art and I'm going to resize it. So this is going to be our plot. So I'm going to resize it to uh, 60, 1, 60. Uh, I think that's pretty good. So I'm just going to move it along the Z axis. I'm going to put it right there. And what I'm going to do is um, uh, add another part. I'm going to make sure this is anchored, by the way. This is going to be called floor because it is the floor. Floor, and I'm going to have a uh, model inside this. So just type in a model. I'm going to add a. Actually, no. I just realized that you can't see what I'm doing. So what I need to do is uh, I'm going to just add a part again. So just go here and click part. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to put it up a bit. And I think that's pretty good. I'm going to rename it. Actually, I'm just going to anchor it. Make sure that can collide is unchecked on this one. And then we're going to add a proximity prompt to this. And we're going to have the uh, requires line of sight property set to false. The action text to claim. And I want the hold duration to be something like 0 0.8 seconds. And what I'm going to do is just group this. Right click and click uh, group as model. So I'm just going to control J, G to... Uh, group it and i'm going to call this claim i'm going to set the primary part to the part itself and i'm going to put it inside of the starter build now what we need to do is a collecting pad uh, actually we don't need that yet right now until the next uh part but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just play the game and see if this works Okay, so I'm going to just walk up to this, and as you can see, there is the proximity prompt that says claim. Uh, we might want to drag this down a little. I think it will look cleaner. And drag it there, like that, and I'm going to make the transparency set to 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a folder in here, and the first folder is going to be called libs for libraries, libs. And the next folder is going to be called server modules and i'm going to have a script just remove this print hello world from this and we're going to call this uh server or maybe we can just keep it named script we'll rename it afterwards 
Okay, so now what we need to do is add a uh, add profile service. So what that is is a module, an open source module. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But basically, there's a model. Just go to the toolbox, home toolbox, and type in profile service, and click it. Drag it inside of the libs folder. Lib stands for libraries, by the way. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add another module. So I'm going to have a folder in replicated storage and I'm going to call it modules. And this module is format number. Just get it from the link in the description and you should be able to see it right there. Uh, just put in the modules folder. And what I'm gonna do now is have a, uh, a module script in this. So module script. And this will be called uh, data manager. Data manager. And inside of this module, we're going to have another module, and this is going to be called Profile Template. Um, profile Service is basically just a, an open source module that makes it really easy to save and load data. So what I'm going to do now is uh, in the Profile Template, this is what your data structure will look like. Uh, what I want to have in here is module.data. This is going to be a table. And inside of that table, we're going to have a uh, leader stats, and this is going to be another table, put a comma there, and I'm just going to have cash, and that's going to be uh, 1000. And then we can have uh, tycoon data, but we're not going to do that yet. Maybe we can do that right now, actually, tycoon data. And that's just going to be an empty table for now, okay? Uh, now, what we need to do is enter the data manager, and in the data manager script, all we need to do is get some services. So, also the format number module, I forgot to explain what that is. It's basically just a module that you can use to format numbers. So, if you get, give it uh, 10,000, it will return 10k. Okay, so we're gonna need service script service, server script service. And that's going to be equal to again, call get service, service script service, server script service. I need to reposition my keyboard right now. It's really hard to type like this. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna move my chair. Uh, okay, so local replicated storage, replicated storage equals game con get service for replicated storage. And the next thing we need to do is local players. Players equals game con get service players. Now we need a uh, local run service equals game con get service run service. Uh, now what I'm going to do is a variable for the libs that we have, libraries, libs, equals uh, server script service dot libs. Now local server modules, local server modules equals uh, server script service dot server modules. Now local profile service, we're going to require the profile service module equals require uh, libs dot profile service. Now what we need to do is get the format number module. So local format number, number equals uh, require replicated storage dot modules dot format number alt. And now uh, that's all we need. We need a data key, so local key uh, underscore one. Make sure to not change this data key. You can put it. You can put anything in here. It could be. It could be this. It's just a key, kind of like a password. And this is basically a. Uh, so if you change this. Uh, it's going to reset your data so this key is where everything is basically the reference to that uh data store uh local profile template i don't know how to explain it but i don't think that was a good way of explaining it is equal to require uh script dot profile template local profile store equals uh profile service uh dot get profile store and in here we're gonna get the we're gonna put in the key. This is pretty much a uh, thing that you use to set up your profile service. And profile template dot data is our data. So we give it the key and the profile template. Okay, what we need to do now is just under this local module here, we're gonna have a local a uh, module dot profiles. This is where all of our profiles will be stored. Okay, so what what I'm gonna do now is. Uh, uh, I'm going to have this function right here. Uh, never mind, we do not need a function there. Uh, what, what we're going to need though is uh, this. So uh, we have some functions here. So local function uh, load leader stats. 
and uh, that's going to require the player and the, the player's profile. Uh, then what we need to do is a function for when the, a new player joins. So local player, local function, uh, player added. And that's just going to get the player. And now uh, that's all we need. What we're gonna do is uh, for underscore comma player. I'm just going to scroll down. Uh, in uh, oh my god, I, I was looking not type in uh, players colon gets players do uh task spawn uh player added and what we need is to give it the player okay what, what am i doing task dot spawn player added comma player and now what we need to do is uh in here okay in here players dot player added colon connect player added that's all we need to do in here now we're gonna go back to the player added function. Now in here we need to do a couple of things. First of all, create the players, get the players profile. So uh, local profile equals profile store uh, colon load profile async, and that's going to take the player underscore. We're gonna give it a special key underscore uh, dot dot player dot user id. Okay. Now we're gonna check if profile is not equal to nil, then uh, profile uh, con add user ID and that's going to take the player's user ID of course so player dot user ID and now all we need to do is profile con reconcile okay uh, now we need to put in profile con listen to release uh, profile con listen to release and function uh, module dot profiles uh, player equals nil and what we need to do is player on kick okay uh, now what, we, what we're gonna do is uh, wait for the player so if player con uh, is descendant of uh, players equals equals true then uh, module dot profiles and square brackets player and what we're gonna do is equal profile now uh, load leader stats and that's going to take the player and the profile okay so if you play the game now oh actually we did not make the load leader stats function so we're gonna do that right now so in here local leader stats equals instance dot new oh my god dot new folder and leader stats dot name equals leader stats uh leader stats dot parent equals player and leader stats that's all we need uh for i comma v in uh profile dot data uh dot leader stats do what we're gonna do is local value value equals instance dot new uh string value and value dot dot name equals to string uh, dot name equals to string i and uh, value dot value equals uh, v and value dot parent equals leader stats so we're pretty much just looping through every, everything so if you don't know how leader stats work if you uh, add a folder to the player and you name it to leader stats with a a uh, lowercase l what's that gonna do is it's going to create a uh, leaderboard that the player can see a list of players with uh some stats so right now we're looping through this so we're looping through the module.data and uh, dot leader stats so cash so when we reach cash what we're gonna do is just create a new value uh, and you'll see what that does so run service dot heartbeat call and connect function and what i'm gonna do is value dot value equals format number dot format compact and that's going to take the profile dot data dot leader stats uh square brackets to string i okay so that's going to format the number that we gave it and it will return okay so that does not work let's see why that is happening 
Okay, so the reason why it was not happening is because we did not use this script. So in here, this is temporary by the way, require uh, script dot game dot, dot service, script service dot uh, server modules dot data manager. And that should run the script. Okay, so as you can see now we have cache and we have 1k cache. And the reason why we have 1k cache is because in the profile template right here, we set it so that the default value is 1000. If you want it to be zero, you can make the zero. By the way, this will save. So I'm pretty sure if you change this and play the game again, it's still going to say 1k. Not very sure though. Yep, it will. Uh, so what you're gonna do if you want to test your game just for testing purposes uh, what you will do is go to the data manager in here in here you're gonna add a dot mock and that's just going to be a dummy data so it's not going to have anything it's not going to save uh, what I'm gonna do is set the default cache value to something like just a random big number to see if it's going to um, format it. What is that like? Nine, 944k? Yep, as you can see, 944k. And it works. And if we go here, we will still have that claim thing. Okay, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the next tutorials, we're going to be getting into how to make the actual tycoon. Now we've set up the game and the data store. And yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure to like and subscribe, share, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!